Hey everyone, welcome back to my backyard and my garden, our garden. Uh, zucchini right here. Let's take a quick look and see what we picked just here in the last five minutes. Uh, and then we'll go across and look at the cucumbers of what we also just picked in the last 10 minutes. And then we'll show you some beans and everything else that's going on in here as well. So thanks for watching. Let's go over and take a look real quick. So we have four zucchini plants here and they have produced so many zucchini baking with them baking uh, muffins for sure baking loaves awesome uh, we'll stick the camera down inside and we'll show you a few more that are growing already coming across you can see yeah, where's the other ones i probably picked them all already well you can see a few small ones coming up there we go right there so these are the ones that we just picked here in the last uh, five minutes uh, it's a good size zucchini. Uh, we've given a lot of them away to uh, family and friends and we'll move across to our cucumbers. Now we've picked at least, oh, this is our fourth or fifth bowl of cucumbers that we have picked here in the last uh, week and a half, I guess, something like that. Uh, awesome in a salad eat them straight up like this whatever you want to do uh, we jar and pickle them and do all that kind of stuff and there's a Mexican one I like it's, it's a spicy uh, pickled one awesome uh, just out of these plants right there there's our zucchini plants and you can see uh, they're growing across well, I was gonna build a trestle this year and obviously I didn't get around to it but my little fence that's supposed to keep rabbits out and other critters uh, they just love it. Look at this, they're growing right across here. Um, you can see, there they are right there. There's some small ones. We've picked, like I said, we've picked that many here in the last little bit, but out of this area here, we have a lot of cucumbers, amazing amount of cucumbers. There they go, there's some small ones. Look at the amount of flowers. We've got lots of bees in here too. Bees love it in here, so you just gotta be aware there we go. There we go. You got to be aware of when you're picking. You got to watch for, uh, pardon me, for for bees in here. As you can see, here's our trestle. It's not my trestle, but it's just a little fence. There's another cucumber right down inside. Where is it? Right down there. We'll get that one here afterwards. There's another one. And there's another one right in behind it. Well, we'll leave these for another day or two. There's a few. Oh, I might get some rain here. It's about time. We're getting an excellent harvest this year out of, uh, out of these plants here. Zucchini. We got a few more growing here. There we go, down inside. Oh yeah, there's another one down back in there. Lots of zucchini. Potatoes, uh, potatoes, I'm gonna, I haven't tried digging any up yet, but I will, they're there. I know they are. Beans, beans have exploded here in the last two weeks. Just gone crazy with the amount of heat that we've had and we've been watering. We haven't had any, really any, any amounts of rain. So but take a look at the amount of yellow beans all the way across in here. We've already picked a bunch and we'll have a bunch more. Carrots, there they are. They're coming across too. They needed some time, no big deal. Potatoes, it's all good. Dill, gotta love dill. This, um, tomato plant. <laughs> this thing is enormous. This was the smallest one that we had planted and it is an absolute monster. You can actually see it actually broke under its own weight right here. I mean, and it's got one of the metal rings on it and, like, take a look at this thing. This thing is, this thing is crazy. It's it's massive. We haven't gotten any red uh, tomatoes out of here yet, but there are green ones, as you can see. They're in there. Onto our climbing beans. They're already uh, taller than me. It's not saying much, but they're also onto our fence here as well, and that's okay. Second tomato plant in the back here, looking okay. Well, our peppers, definitely not good. Put them in the wrong spot. I had them way in the back, way in the back. And we've moved them over here. And of course, 
this behemoth of a oh there's tons of tomatoes down here look at that i'm gonna have to get wow i'm gonna have to get something and lift this thing up that's that's crazy we'll do that in the next little bit here beets if you like beets we have got beets beets beet leaves we have got beets this was two rows of beets and i mean we have got lots of beets pickled beets love pickled beets flowers bees potatoes i remember these are kind of my little test bed area if you will but we have got uh lots this is wet but let's see what's in here i know that i have potatoes in here because i was already digging around there's a small one i'll just grab it out Bing. that's one maybe i'll eat that one for supper tonight yep there's potatoes in here that's good i'll just cover them back up one for sure one one is better than none right i'll leave that here we'll check this one here too Let's see if we're see where I can get in dill. Dill's growing in here. I never planted it in here, but obviously some seeds blew in. Uh, my little, I think these were warbas. Warba, does that sound right? Let's see if we can find some here. Oh, I'm way off to the side. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I, I grabbed a small one too. And a real small one. That's okay. I need a few for dinner tonight. Yeah, there's a few. I can feel them all down here, so that's good. That's a real small one. There's some. I'm just going to take these little small ones and hack them in half, throw some butter, some onions on them. Perfect. Good stuff. That's it. There's our garden update. I haven't shot a, like I said, haven't shot a video in a while. And everything is coming up nicely so if you have any questions any comments leave them i'll answer them all as usual i don't think i've missed any yet but if i have message me back and we'll uh we'll answer that one so thanks for watching and now i'm all full of mud so i can't even touch my camera but that's okay cheers <laughs> gopro stop recording